Many light workers tend to be labeled with ADHD when they're young. This is a thing. There's a reason in my opinion that this is a thing. But what happens with many of these people is that we start to have a really negative, wrong sense of self. We start to feel like we can't fully express who we truly are, and we walk around with a lot of shame. I'm going to explain to you why this happens and what we can do about it. Watch this video. Whether you believe that attention deficit is real or fake, because there's a lot going on these days, I'm going to just pretend that it is a real thing, but I'm going to rename it. Instead of attention deficit hyperactive disorder, I'm going to say attention dial to a higher dimension. There's many reasons I'm going to say this. Number one, you can't say something doesn't exist when there's a lot of people being labeled with it, because currently it does exist. Whether we agree that it should or not, or if it's a manufactured disorder or if it's just an issue of not fitting into the current order of the system, you are still functioning differently. You are still different, different brain, different thought processes, different behaviors. And however, I think it's beautiful and I believe many of these kids being brought into the world right now are being labeled in this way because they are actually more clued into spiritual things. They have a higher sensitivity. They have a different nervous system. And what happens is you behave differently when you respond to your environment differently. Unfortunately, in our school system and the way many people are being raised right now, if you don't fit the system, they must make it so that there's a way that you will, whether that means medicating or teaching you different behaviors or whatever, but what happens with many of these kids is that they grow up having a very negative, wrong sense of who they are. When you're labeled at a young age with a disorder and you don't really understand it, it's a, definitely a misunderstood condition, it's definitely a misunderstood concept, you start to think something's wrong with you. That's shame. You start to think, oh my gosh, I have to make up for this, or I have to do everything right, or I'm just going to rebel. Many of these people grow up with a feeling that they are bad. And what happens when you feel bad is you act out. What happens when you feel bad is you feel confused, disconnected from self, and you start to not trust yourself. So the reason that I spend a lot of time renaming this and re sort of explaining it in a new way that's empowering rather than disempowering and repressing and depressing is that I, I find that our sense of identity and self comes from our young early years and when we have parents that don't understand us and teachers that are saying you don't fit in you constantly have this thought about yourself that something needs is wrong with me something needs to change or I'll make everything else in my life try to fit in and what happens with that is you're completely rejecting your truth. You're not being your true self. You're not allowed to be your true self. So a lot of you commented on my other video when I mentioned at one point about this negative sense of self coming from this label. Some people like the label because they feel like, oh, that's what it is. That's great. But what happens is, oh, that's what it is is wonderful when you think what that is, is a difference and not a deficit. When we think there's a deficit, you are walking around in your life thinking there's something about me that doesn't measure up, that isn't enough, that isn't good. This is debilitating. It creates many negative patterns in our life. It creates separation and disconnect from others because you are different, but no one's been educated on that difference. And so that's the point of this video. So one of my big missions, obviously, is to empower the light workers, the highly sensitive souls, the indigos, the people who are sometimes and often labeled ADHD who have not maybe had the easiest childhood. The reason you're a light worker is because you're really re-emerging to say, this was actually not really what fit me. What fits me is that I have this difference. I have this ability to tune inward to my own wise guide inside. That's what was taken from me. I'm reclaiming it.
And when you reclaim that, you open up to, to the wisdom that you've always had, but done things differently. For instance, you may see life differently because you are going to have new insights about things. You may be the best entrepreneur in the world. You're not going to fit the system because you are wired to be connected and dialed into your own wise guide inside, and the system didn't want you to do that. The system wanted you to dial into the externals, the system, the structured way of doing things that just doesn't fit you. It's confusing to try to have to do it someone else's way when you're wired for your own inner guidance for maybe a new thought in the world to start new thoughts rather than cater to old systems and thoughts. One of my biggest beliefs is that people who are labeled ADHD or come in with some thing that doesn't fit the system are here to bust the system and create a new paradigm to be the change. You literally can't change this about you. You might as well be the change to have people more inclusive and understanding and and stop having just one way of doing things but multiple ways to facilitate and assist all types of people, all differences. It's interesting because a lot of people with this condition or whatever look perfectly normal. They look like they fit in, this, this, but they don't feel like they do. You feel different. You're looking for your tribe. You're wondering, why can't I just be like everybody else? You're not supposed to be. You're absolutely not supposed to be. You were actually born this way for a reason. You are perfect for your purpose. And so I see many light workers who come to me and say, oh, I have this, or I've just felt, felt different, whether you're labeled or not. I felt different my whole life. I think different. Wonderful. Let's empower that. Because you are the change the world so desperately needs right now. Obviously, things aren't working so well. Systems are breaking down. And here we are. When we're not owning our truth, when we're not being true to who we are, the world is suffering. This is actually bringing down the evolution of our world. It's like global incubation. If you don't learn that the system might not have been right about you, but maybe you can tune in and say, what is it that I bring to this world? What about my differences is so beautiful? You can facilitate a more global, loving, healing world by simply being you and loving you, and highlighting those differences, creating your own kind of career, bringing a new sort of design into the world, bringing new thoughts into the world. This is what a light worker's job is, is to shed light on the darkness. A lot of the wounding that's happening in our world is because people grow up thinking, I'm not good enough, I'm different, I'm disconnected. This is one of those things. And we can say they might be wrong, society might be wrong, but God never is. I'm born this way for a reason, and I've got some insights to share. Then you start elevating, lifting the veil, and doing your light work in the world. So if you guys agree, please let me know in your comments. And if you don't, let me know in your comments. This is a huge conversation right now. It's very controversial. It's does ADD exist? Maybe it does, but it's definitely not what they've said it is. I'm going to tell you that from personal experience. So I hope you like this video. Please share and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.